NDA government's support to space research, research and missions is something like this. The Indian government has increased the budget for ISRO significantly in recent years. In 2022-23, the budget for ISRO was 13,700 crores. From 5,615 crores in 2013 to 2014. So you can understand it went three, almost close to three times. Increasing in funding allowed ISRO to undertake more ambitious and uh, complex missions. Interesting fact is that the budget to tech space starts up, startups has uh, increased greatly too. Alongside providing continued support to ISRO, Honorable Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi ji has opened doors for the private players in the space research by encouraging, encouraging them through uh, funding tech uh, space start startups. This has given a great boost to tech space startups. ISRO is offering a wide range of variety programs including internships, research fellowships and grants in space science research. ISRO is organizing a special program for school children called Young Scientist Program Yuvo Vigyani Karikramam Yuvika to impart basic knowledge on space uh, technology. How space, space missions and innovations contribute to nation and society in Anukuntu. As we embark our journey towards Vikasit Bharat and going to celebrate our 78th Independence Day, I would like to take this opportunity uh, to talk on how space research and missions are useful to the nation and society. The Dean Klo, I mean, uh, any space, looking at any space uh, research journey, then our NASA can do it. Can it? Why the Australian Kosam create space? Could not invention sunne. Sagat manual ko payu pare. ISRO and NASA are doing a lot of work in our day. But the motto of ISRO is to help common men by using technology in various ways. Because of ISRO's contribution, now we have mobile communications, broadcasting, weather forecasting, broadcasting, weather forecasting, disaster management, geographic information systems, navigation, etc. Also, India's space, space missions have, have resulted in significant uh, uh, technological advancements, facilitating growth in sectors like agriculture and defense, etc. ISRO's contribution are not only limited to the national G, uh, GDP, but also contribute to about 2 to 3 percent of the global space economy. Kevala mana desa GDP ke gaakunda, jati stola utpati ke gaakunda, Antarjati inga koda, space economy ki, man dada apu rondo ninchi mood saato, man Bharat desam yelanti man sastra vetla valla, distinguished sastra vetla valla, two to three percent global space economy lo mano sampanch kare. Space missions like Chandrayaan three symbolize national pride and unity, inspiring generations and promoting a sense of a shared identity. Enhanced. Global stature, India's achievements in space technology have elevated its uh, global standing, fostering international uh, collaboration and goodwill. So, I say, I would like to experiment. When Shah is contributing a lot, Sadish Dhawan Space Center in the contribute just now. From AP government, we take it in a prestigious manner. We will do what best we can do. Periphery Lovna, all the infrastructure will be taken into consideration. We will take it forward. So, as the part of it, Buchinaid country Ganinchi, Manar Polo Road. Tripati Sulur Petra Road La Bhaga. Nishchenga Ayde, Sri Harikota employees, Shar employees ki college ikad vijjarthali ki nirantram upayu pade road. Katha three years ki samas sila ne undan jepeer. Total road upadu 17 kilometers. So, Muna, Vengadeshwar ni IS gaar naadikya nu. Collector Tripati. Dini, ada gelar orang percaya kini jual footing itu perhati pada kena cai putar, panih modal lain. Inda ke review kod jasa ni guntal potcheron road kiriway pula gravel way dom, ini water burn cai dom, black top road way berdu nih. 
Uh, hopefully, I think collector of sensitivity will be another five days, sir, from now. Five days, I think uh, the 17 kilometers road will be finished. But it's a commitment to you. I don't have to worry about the road in the Shastra, but I don't have to worry about the road. <laughs> now, request one day. I'd like to put forward to Honorable Raja A. Rajarajanji, Distinguished Scientist and Director of SDSC, Satish Dhawan Space Center, Shah. I have a great interest to inculcate scientific temperament in Andhra Pradesh. Even Srinivasal Edgar Gunadhi Jeptaun, to make use of we are fortunate Andhra Pradesh has Satish Dhawan Space Center. We want to use all your intellectual capacity. And to, uh, we want our generation, our AP, the younger generation, to get motivated. And I would like to wheel, in a, I think we'll keep on understand, uh, go for a memorandum of MOUs with a lot of uh, business people and all. Is there any way that Andhra Pradesh government can have a mem MOU with uh, uh, Shah? Um, Sadish Dhawan Space Research Center. How to develop scientific temperament in uh, rural youth and urban youth? And if you could have, if you could guide us, if you could guide us, I think I would like to extend as a science and technology minister. I would like to take forward to sign an MOU, and also I'll make sure that I'll speak to the uh, I mean, uh, cabinet uh, committee. I'll make sure enough funds will be released for. Uh, a science and technology department. The only my selfishness, my interest is to make sure the younger generation should benefit a lot. <laughs> One story is something in I think around the uh, 18th century. When one of the American presidents asked Chief Seattle, I said, we, we, not, we want to buy your land. We boom it on all the way. Europe and Chile, Shalom and migrate out. We need more land. The chief Seattle said, "We don't own this land." To first, in the first place, to sell this land, that American chief said, his name is Seattle. He said, "We don't own this land to sell it in the first place. We don't inherit the land. We borrowed it from the future of the children." Bhavita knowledge may boom this kind of tapa. May we din swanto din ne varsatvanga raale. Andikar ma khakuli dhamata ni kena. So, what we do is we do the same thing as we do the same thing as we do. I think that has been greatly and been whatever the distinguished scientists, all of them had said, this one common statement is, they are always talking about future, future generations. We are just nothing but torch bearers for a certain time. And we give the baton to the next generation. And for me, I want this Andhra Pradesh as a part of one of the state of uh, Indian Federation to make sure we want to contribute for national well-being, national prosperity, and uh, national scientific temperament. And we want to be significant, we want to play a significant role. And we want to take inspiration from the distinguished, uh, distinguished uh, scientists, the unsung heroes, uh, heroes who are sitting here. We want to take inspiration from you. People know me, but we want to understand what you go through in creating something, I mean, letting something go up in the orbit. What you go through, these kind of stories really inspire the next generation. Sometimes you should tell us, like a TED talk or something like that. You have to have a, some kind of platform, maybe a, a platform like this. Each distinguished scientist would come here. And if you tell them a, a, a good amount of uh, young audience, I think they'll get inspired. I hope we could have this kind of interactions. That's the only way we can inculcate that uh, scientific temperament. So I request you to tell your stories.